everyone. Good evening. Uh, I am Marco Shero. I am a young adult and middle grade writer, and I am going to be reading a selection from my upcoming YA novel out on March 28th, 2023, called Into the Light. It is a slow burn contemporary thriller with a speculative fiction twist about two boys whose lives are on a, on a collision course <clears throat> uh, because of a religious figure who is affecting both of their lives. Uh, I'm just gonna read to you. I'm very excited about this. When you're like me, you have to lie all the time. The motel we're at is one of those low, flat buildings. Looks like it was smashed down the top. The gray paint is peeling in places. Room smells weird. It's sad and old, like so many others I've scrounged up money for. They all blend together in my memories, but it's the roof over my head I don't have to pay for, so I don't mind. Most of it could be on fire, and all I would care about was whether I could take a shower or get a few minutes of sleep before it collapsed around me. A lie will always come out of my mouth. I think about what lies I'll have to tell them today. They haven't asked about the TV thing yet. They aren't as nosy as the other people I've traveled with. It's weird, not used to that. The door behind me opens. Carlos looks me up and down, steps back, pulls the door open as wide as it goes. Shower is all yours, he says to me. I duck inside past him, quickly nab the pouch of toiletries tucked into my duffel, as well as a change of shirt, socks, and underwear. Bag is fairly small, but it has to be. One of the many rules I have, don't own a lot, keep it all organized, be ready to leave at a moment's notice. A living situation can always go toxic or unwelcome faster than you think. And I don't belong anywhere. I'm a boat, adrift at sea, no oars, no engines, just letting the waves and the current take me where it may. Right now that place is this with the Varelas. Is today the day I leave, or do I have more time with these people? In the shower, the water runs over me. I scrub it quickly, intensely. This might be my last shower for a while. Can't ever presume to know what my future holds. A year ago, I was with my sister. A year ago, they cast me out, and I've been on the road since then, drifting. Found weird jobs, hitchhiked a lot. Made some money down in Santa Barbara for a while, working for a guy named Hernando, who ran a landscaping business. A job gave me mean calluses. I can feel them now as I rinse away the soap from my face. I dry quickly using the last clean towel. Another rule, never use a shared bathroom longer than necessary. I've got the whole routine down to under 10 minutes because most people won't notice an occupied bathroom in that amount of time. Thankfully, we're checking out today so I don't have to clean up the bottle, excuse me, I don't have to clean up the water or any body hairs. That's part of the routine too. Don't leave anything behind no proof that you exist. It's easier that way. I dress, then head out into the room to pack up. Carlos is laying down on his stomach, the remote in his hand, some reality show blaring loudly. I ignore him as I roll up my sleeping bag. You know you're allowed to sleep in beds, right? He says, you don't always have to be on the floor. It's fine, I say, zipping up my bag. I'm used to it. He changes the channel. You're weird. Can't argue with that. I'm reminded of it regularly, and in that moment, I try to remember the last time I slept in a bed. Damn, long time, nine months? I don't wanna think that, I don't wanna think back too far. There's a big hole there, dark and terrible. It's like they cut a part of myself from my body. Can't spend too much time dwelling on it, so I don't. I sit at the foot of Carlos's bed, the images flash on the TV, a family touring a home. A couple getting married, a car commercial, a superhero movie, all a fantasy to me. Another cartoon, a judge in a courtroom yelling, a basketball team on the court, a news broadcast, a dog running on a go back, I say. Hairs raised on the back of my neck. Go back. Carlos keeps barreling through channels. Why? Just do it, I say. I saw his face. My tone is sharp forceful. I feel Carlos shift on the bed. He goes back, back past the comedy set, past the dog on the beach, and then it's a shot of a forest. Yellow tape strung between trees. People standing around, one hunched down, staring at something. There's a banner along the bottom of the screen. Body found outside religious camp. A news captor, excuse me, a newscaster with a deep, clear voice speaks over the next image. It is him, Deacon Thompson. 
It's a still from one of his YouTube videos, one of the ones I've seen a million times because, because she is in it, Elena. Local authorities have not confirmed any details aside from reiterating that the body was found outside property lines. The broadcast cuts to an officer, crop cut hair, baby face with red and blotches on pale skin, beige uniform. We're a little shaken up, he says, frowning. We're just a little mountain town. Idlewild doesn't really get stuff like this. Idlewild. The news anchors are saying something about the successful Christmas toy drive that Deacon organized last year, and I don't care. Doesn't matter. Can't really hear any of it anymore. A body. There's a body in Idlewild. Is it her? Is that my sister? And of course, I'm going to be mean and cliffhanger you there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, thank you, Lambda. I am so glad to be a part of this uh, and look forward to hearing the other readers.